All right, so it's been a little bit since we've had a shop update, but right now we're going through the SEMA crunch. This is gonna give you an update of what's going on here at our property in Orange, along with our property in Placentia. So let's get to it. All right, so first car to update. This 1972 Nissan KGC10, it's back from the dyno. Everything was all good and dandy. Come to find out there is now a lot of oil dripping out of the valve cover, which actually drops onto the exhaust manifold. So we have to now repair that, get a new seal for the valve cover, get the new valve cover on powder coated and finished. So now this is in limbo. We can't really drive it around. It's aligned and ready to go. The new valve cover should be back from powder coat in the next week or two, but we're not really in a rush for this one. We could always tow it to Placentia for now and deal with it over there because SEMA is of a priority right now. So we have to wait. Behind me is my 1JZ Sport Cross. For sale, not on sale, for sale. I spent a lot of time and money building this car for the last few years. It is an extremely reliable drift car and street driver. Full interior, Brid Zeta 3 Cusco seats, one off TIG welded roll cage by B-Side Fabrication that has been clear coated to show all the beautiful welds. If you're interested, I have a full spec sheet on this car and I do have a price in mind. Uh, it's not gonna be cheap, but you can't build this car for the same money. GR Corolla, SEMA Crunch. That's one of the problems that we're dealing with right now is getting all the parts here, fitted, situated, painted, and ready to go for SEMA. This might be blurred out, but just know that it's fully taken apart right now and the whole front end is off of the car. Next up, we have this. This is our 1970 Roadrunner that you guys saw at Week Fest. We won something. Best Domestic at Week Fest Los Angeles in 2023. This was our first debut of this car. Now, I did find a couple little details that we're gonna go ahead and get situated before the car goes up for sale. One of the other things we are gonna be adding that we're not ready for the show, a chin spoiler on the front. So as you can see from the front end of the car, you could actually see the whole front subframe assembly that is where it houses the new suspension and the power steering rack and pinion. We wanted a chin spoiler so that way when you're looking at the car from a distance, you don't see that subframe cradle, you just see this badass body. And this car has just the right amount of sushi thanks to those three piece wheels by VR. As you saw behind me, the 1970 Dodge Charger is up there. We got no engines, Ted. We're on it, Ted. We're on it. What the hell? So you guys last saw this on the dyno and just idling, getting ready to be dyno tested. into an issue right out of the gate. Tried to deal with some of those while Adrian was at the dyno with the car. Some of those issues got handled, um, but come to find out when we brought it back, there was something that we could not send it back to the dyno with. Now the engine is pulled out back to Hawaii Racing to pinpoint what the issue has been and what caused it. So once we get that motor back from Hawaii Racing, we are going to send the motor over to an engine dyno specialist. So we are gonna go ahead and pull out the harness, the fuel system, the Holly ECU, part of the exhaust system that holds the O2 sensor. So that way this engine can then be dyno tested and tuned on an engine dyno. This car will then be put back together with a tuned engine and we don't need to mess with trying to strap this car to the dyno again and making it idle perfectly for the dyno and the stall of the transmission and all that. So once it goes back in the car, it's good to go and do a burnout. Next car. Ferrari 288 GTO project that you see behind me. The last time you guys saw this car, it was actually also in a dyno clip. Oh. 
actually made really good horsepower to the wheels on pump gas. But now as you see it, it is Rosso Corsa red and we still have the test fitment wheels on it. These are not the final wheels. We have some custom three piece center lock wheels with an adapter that are going on this car. They look really good. They look the part, but they also have to fit some Ferrari 360 Modena brakes. We're gonna go ahead and do a full video on this car at a later date. Once we get all these other details taken care of, this is a huge project. It's been a 12 year long on and off process. A lot of OEM Ferrari stuff, such as the drivetrain, all the suspension, all the brakes. Everything's been reconditioned, whether it's new or replacement pieces that are new old stock. We have custom designed speed hut gauges coming for this car, so that way it looks more like the 288 GTO style gauge cluster. Right now, we've already installed updated spring rate package from Swift Springs. So as you see there, that's the new green colored spring that is offered to us by Swift to test and see if we like the the suspension and how this is riding now. Once we get it back on the ground with the interior and everything, we'll go ahead and weigh it and scale it and see what changes we need to make depending on the shock settings that are on the car. Can't show you what's on the other side because that's all part of SEMA shit. So for now, we're gonna go on and head over to Placentia and give you guys an update of the offices and the warehouse layout one wiener later so this is our new lobby we definitely have like a lounge couch and a table and some things for the girls to take a break and go hang out there if they want to just walk one of the dogs the leashes and everything are going to be at that front entrance area behind me is actually lucy's uh u channel table and right here is where copy machine is going to be this is going to be Lupe's workstation. You guys may or may not have seen the girls in some of the videos, but every now and then they do pop up. This is a third workstation. If we ever do expand and hire another staff member for the office. I am coming, right there. But in this main one, this is the bullpen. So this giant space is where James, Keaton, Dan, everybody's gonna be. I'm gonna be over here nearest the thermostat because i am a fat hot boy and i'm going to be in control of the thermostat 72 degrees year round 70 to 72 depends on the day keep it cool in here keep it comfortable this is daryl's office there are going to be some couches and chairs here not for him mainly for the dogs So that way they can just lounge and chill here. We are gonna head off in to the warehouse. So now as you see behind me, there's this big bald dude walking around in my shot. <laughs> um, as you can see in the warehouse, we have all the lifts are situated. We do want to get a couple more storage lifts so that we can get some of these cars off the ground that are sitting for long-term storage or if they're just a future project, we don't want to have to be pushing them around or driving them around every single day to be able to do what we need to do. Fast and Fear Supra is sitting here staged and ready. It is good to go for SEMA. It will be in a booth in Central Hall. We're gonna go ahead and put up their information onto the screen. Thanks to Chris Harris for finding us on Instagram and YouTube and reaching out to us and inviting us out to be in their booth. We're super excited to bring this car out and share it with more people and just get you guys to get a first-hand look at everything that it took to get to where it is today. Behind me, the track RV that you have seen in so many videos is for sale. Hit us up if you're interested in that for sale. This chaser has been online for a good while. Super clean, one owner, original mileage car, slick top, manual, twin turbo for sale. S13 Coupe, uh, C18 DE automatic. Really good, clean base starter of a car. Full on metal Sylvia front end with the dual projectors. But that car has a fully reupholstered interior that is leather vinyl mix. That car actually runs great. It's super reliable. It's comfortable. You got a 1J swap, a 2J swap, an SR with a manual and all the goodies and you want to tear into a perfectly clean starter car, that S13 Coupe is your thing. And now we have some organized shelving finally. So our other shop we had parts literally like, like these bumpers are on the floor. All this shit you see here would also be on the floor. We're not doing that anymore. Everything is categorized, taped, marked, and essentially we're gonna be coordinating shelving per car. 
Right now we have a lot of FNF stuff. So there's Eclipse stuff. There's still some Supra stuff that we haven't put on the car. And we have all the pieces of the R34 GTT that we have yet to build or yet to get started on because we are still collecting parts. These Fast and Furious cars do not build themselves in three months because the parts take longer to get than it does to build the car. Evo, possibly for sale for the right money. This car is super clean, super mint. Has a lot of Rally Sport goodies. It has a Rally Sport exhaust, coilovers, the OZ wheels that we are going to refinish and just put some fresh tires on. This car is actually really fun to drive. So this is probably the last one on my list to sell because it's so cool. Right now we're trying to accommodate and make room for more projects. The cars that we have bought and imported, they will all be titled and ready to sell in actually about a week or two. Everything's been processed and completed. So just waiting to receive the paperwork. The one series. You guys probably saw it online before. We did take it off because Daryl thought he was gonna keep it. We made some changes to it. It now sports a BMW Sport upgraded clutch instead of the twin disc. And we had the wheels mirror polished and clear coated. So that way they're extremely easy to keep clean and it just changed up the look a little bit. That car's for sale still, so that's another one. 66 Mustang Coupe, for sale. Knight Rider, not for sale. A lot of cool shit coming for that. CHP Mustang, not for sale. You wanna take your kids out in a wagon? <laughs> Got third row seating, you can have them face backwards. That thing's for sale. Now we have the 959 project back as we're waiting for some parts uh, from Hollinger and four piston for the oiling system on that car. Supra FNF2 GT. And the Lightning is actually still for sale. This isn't a necessity, but if somebody is interested in that car, it's been online for a little while. Unless we get the right money for it, it's not for sale. It's got one of our pristine restoration paint jobs on it and all brand new Ford OEM parts. The wheels were completely refinished. They don't make a lot of tires for the Lightning in the factory sizing anymore. So we ended up having to put Michelin Pilot Sport 4 S's on it. That truck's perfect. It needs nothing. It's got in the 70K mile range. But as you can see, the shop warehouse space is all set up. We have the storage the way we want it. We have the lifts where we want them. Now we are going to add some more service bay lifts once we get moved in here and settled in, but that's gonna come with time. Once we're done with all the SEMA crunch stuff, we're gonna go ahead and get the guys moving over here so that way we can get their service lifts, the welders, the cutting, everything we need to do to build these cars that we're still working on. So it's a work in progress, but this is where we've been and what we're doing. So for now, that's it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you guys on the next one or catch us at SEMA. We have like cat tree houses. We have the feeding station. We have their kitty litter that has changed every day. Um, thanks to James. Thank you.